was special about DK was that it was essentially a pioneering company. And it was led by a man with a fantastically clear vision and a determination to achieve his goals at whatever cost. He was completely fearless in, in his uh, the attainment of his dreams. And we all were willing to follow him because we believed that he knew where he was going and that the ethos of the company was the right one, which in other words was to put quality first. The pursuit of excellence was always the defining mantra of DK. It was never the pursuit of greed, ever, not even after we'd become a PLC. And that's what made it a wonderful place to work because people came there, came in and worked there because they enjoyed the experience of creating what we did and then they felt proud in having created something that, that A so well and B other people admired. So in those good years there was a feeling that everything was possible. There wasn't, we used to say there's no such thing as a boring subject, only boring ways of presenting it. In other words, you could do anything. You could make a book about things that you thought was impossible before and have fun doing so. So people would go the extra mile to find ways to bring subjects to life on the page. Uh, this is particularly exemplified by the eyewitness series which we created for kids in the late 80s and which have sold 50 million copies because then we had a studio in which we said we could photograph anything. There were elephants, there were lions, there were giraffes, there were tigers in there, even an aeroplane, crocodiles, oh, snakes. It was extremely dangerous <laughs> and extremely exhilarating, but everyone had fun saying, we can do this, and nobody else is doing it. And until there were a, a raft of imitators who came along and tried the same thing, but never quite so well, it, it was fantastic. And I think today, when I meet people who work there, even after all the bitterness and recriminations of the final years of DK's independent life, they almost, to a person, would say, those were the best years of our working lives. It'll never be better. And I feel the same. And so it was a real privilege to be part of that story. And I wanted to write that to communicate that sense of enthusiasm and enterprise and exhilaration and joy and determination in this book, the collective spirit of the company. I wanted to capture that if possible and retain it for those who experience it and indeed for others to experience um, you know, vicariously 